If your horn isn't responding when you press the button, you're not alone. That's why in today's video, we'll explore eight common reasons why your car horn might be malfunctioning or producing unusual sounds. We'll also guide you through the steps to get it working again. Let's simplify the horn system. There's the horn button connected to the airbag, which leads to the steering wheel, then the clock spring. After that, it's just wires to the fuse box, then a relay, more wires, and finally, the horn. Don't forget the battery, positive and negative. So, we've got the switch, the horn button, and then the horn itself. Somewhere in there, something's not connecting, and that's what we need to find out. If your horn sounds different than usual, it's likely because one of the horns is faulty. Most vehicles have two horns, a low tone and a high tone. When one malfunctions, the horn's sound noticeably changes. However, the rest of the system is usually fine. Simply replacing the horns should resolve the issue, but it's advisable to replace both horns as if one fails since the other may follow suit soon after. Now, let's have a closer look at the causes, starting with reason number one, blown fuse. When a circuit blows a fuse, usually because it's overloaded or shorted out, that's when the horn tends to stop working. Your car's fuse box is where all its electrical stuff connects, and it is sacrificing itself to keep the horn safe and the rest of the system intact. Reason number two, faulty relay. Under the hood, the fuse box houses the horn relay, which is often called the center for power distribution. If this relay malfunctions, your horn won't work. At the same time, when you try to honk, you might also notice a clicking noise coming from around the relay. Peace. Reason number three, corroded connections. Corrosion on the electrical connectors can mess up the electricity going to the horn. It happens when those connectors get all rusty or dirty from stuff like moisture. This makes it harder for the electricity to flow smoothly, so the horn might not work right or stop working altogether. Cleaning those connectors regularly helps keep them from getting rusty and ensures the electricity keeps flowing to the horn like it should. Reason number four, wiring issues. The horn relies on the electrical system for power. It's reasonable to think that electrical wires run through this system to keep everything connected. Over time, these wires can sustain damage, especially with extensive use. They may deteriorate or encounter corrosion at certain connections. If a connection becomes loose, the horn might stop working altogether. Dealing with electrical wiring problems can be tricky, though they're less common than other issues. Reason number five, bad clock spring. If the clock spring fails, it can possibly make your horn stop working. Also, since the clock spring keeps the driver's side airbag connected to the electrical system, you might see the airbag warning light come on. Plus, other controls on the steering wheel, like the radio and cruise control buttons, might not work right because they need electrical connections. The clock spring is like a coil of wires that keeps everything connected, even when you're turning the wheel. Reason number six, low battery voltage. The horn needs power from the battery to make noise. So, when the battery voltage is low, there's not enough power for the horn to function right. This can cause problems like a weak or inconsistent horn sound, or the horn not working at all. So, it's important to keep your battery charged up to ensure your horn works when you need it. Reason number seven, bad horn switch in the steering wheel. Typically, the middle part of the steering wheel has the horn switch. When you push this switch, it closes the circuit, giving power to the horn to honk. Unlike older designs where you had to push the whole middle of the wheel to honk, this setup is more up to date. But if this switch goes bad, you've got a problem. It's usually best for a trained mechanic to deal with it because it's near the driver's side airbag, which can be risky to mess with. Reason number eight, broken horn. The horn itself might get damaged. Being near the front of the car, it's exposed to ice, dirt, stones, debris, snow, and road salt. Usually, cars only have one horn. If it stops working, you won't hear any sound. If you have multiple horns and one goes out, you might still get some noise, but it'll be weaker, or you might hear clicking noises. How to fix this issue? When your car horn stops working, 
start figuring out what's wrong right away. First, check the ground and test the voltage to the horn. Then, take a look at the clock spring, fuses, and relays. If swapping out the horn doesn't fix it, you might need to get help from a nearby mechanic. As for repair costs, they vary depending on the problem. For example, replacing a blown fuse might only set you back around $10, but replacing a clock spring could cost anywhere from $350 to $650. There you have it. If you find videos like this helpful, make sure to like and subscribe so we can assist you. Fix it.